What is up in the army? I am Game Near 5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome back to a new power ranking. Today, we are rank. I'm gonna be ranking the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not counting two things. I, well, sort of two things. The things that counted in the MCU. Uh, I'm not counting the Incredible Hulk, which is a pet, well, one of them. Uh, I'm not counting that. Uh, apparently it's a part of the MCU. I'm not counting it. Then, uh, I'm not counting What If. Now, the main reason why I'm not counting what, what If, I do understand that it is a studio title and it does list on Disney Plus as MCU. I haven't watched it, so I wouldn't be able to give a full re re idea on it, and so I decided to cut it out from this. I could have put it right in the middle, but uh, I didn't. I decided against it. So it is 26 to 1. The MCU, uh, counting the shows, plus films, mostly films, uh, there are the three shows that have been released that are on here. Um, now I will say I've only saw, seen two of them, and, but I have seen clips of the other one, the other, the one that I have not fully watched is WandaVision. I am probably never going to watch that. So, with that, um, let's get to it, and uh, let's jump into the Marvel Cinematic Universe ranking, which, at 26, I have WandaVision, as, uh, well, from what I saw of it, the clips I've seen of it, it doesn't look that good. It just doesn't have that Marvel feel, in my view, um, compared to what else is in this uh, ranking. So, um, yeah. Um, I put this at 26. Um, yeah. I know it probably had a big thing to do with, like, future films, but... If I really have to, I will go back and watch it, but I probably will just, uh, miss it, and probably won't care. So, um, yeah. Moving over from 26. 25. Iron Man 3 is what I have at 25. And, um, yeah. So... Uh, Iron, if you know me very well, Iron Man is my favorite, um, uh, hero ever. Um, this film, I don't like. Well, I should say this. There's a couple things that I don't like. There's a couple things that I do like. And then everything else, well... Actually, no, there's a couple things that I don't like, and then pretty much else, everything else I really like. So, like, I love a, a lot of the Marvel films, and, uh, most of the TV shows. So, um, yeah, and I will say this first, I will redo this eventually, probably after Phase 4, I will add all that stuff in. Even though, uh, some of the Phase 4 stuff has made it in, but, uh... Yeah. Anyway, 25 is Iron Man 3, and I don't really remember anything from it. That's pretty much the only reason why this is here. The only thing I can remember from the film is uh, the magic getting blown up. That, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, next, 24, Black Widow. Now, this is pretty much the end of the ones that I don't really like. Um, now, I did like Black Widow. Other than the stuff that preceded the film, I did watch it on uh, Disney Plus in Premiere Access. Um, now, 
the one part I did not like about this film was the beginning. That's the part I did not like. So, um, yeah. I'm not gonna go much into detail on this one, because it is so new that I'm guessing not a lot of people would have probably watched it yet. So I'm not gonna go into much detail on this. I'm just gonna say the reason why it's this low at 24, I did not like the beginning. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, let's move on. 23. For the Dark World. We are the ones, uh, we are in the ones now that I just, well, had to put somewhere. Uh, this one I completely, well, no. This one I didn't forget about. It's the next one that I completely forgot about. But, um, this one, it's a good one. I was going to put it a lot higher, but I found other stuff that I liked more. I do like this film. Just, I will say there are some lacking points in it. <laughs> and some weird parts in it. So, uh, like, if I'm thinking of going and watching a Marvel film at night, I'm probably not thinking of going to this one. So, yeah. Let's move 22! Captain America Civil War. Um. Yeah, this one I completely forgot about. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I literally added this one here because I completely forgot about it and I wasn't willing to move anything. So, Captain America Civil War. I did like this film quite a bit. And, uh. I obviously. If I had, the, when I redo this after Phase 4, this might move up <laughs> quite a bit. Anyway, um, yeah, um, Captain America Civil War at 22, um, on the C Cinematic Universe, uh, ranking. It's a good film, just, um, I, like, it's a really good film. Like, I'd watch this on a, on a Sunday, on a Friday night. And I just honestly forgot about it until uh, there was one spot left. And I was like, what's left? And it was this, so I put it, and um, yeah. So, moving on from 22 to 21, I have Thor. Yeah, I kind of put this one in the middle. Um, It was a good film. It, it, like I will say it was a really, really good film. Just, um, yeah, there are some parts of it that I did not like, um, so, uh, I didn't like Thor flipping the table. It was kind of funny the first time I watched it, but then I just, like, kind of got tired of it. So, um, yeah. Thor at 21, moving on to 20. Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, for the Spider-Man ones, um, I completely forgot about them. Completely. Now, this one I put as low as I did, because I haven't watched it in a while. I've wat watched clips of it, uh, recently, but not the entire film. <laughs> so, uh, I know it's on Netflix, uh, in Canada now, and I've been meaning to watch it. I just haven't watched it. It could have already left Netflix. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's still on there. But, um, yeah. Spider-Man Far From Home. At 20. There's the next far, the next Spidey film coming out this, uh, December. Uh, No Way Home. Which has not released a trailer yet. It's apparently been leaked. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, with that, moving on to number 19. Captain America Winter Soldier. Now, you might be wondering if I hate the Captain America films, because this one's not even in the top ten. <laughs> this one's pretty low also. Um, no, I, I like one of them, but, um, well, I like this one too, but I kind of just, as I said, I just, after the bottom three, I got to the ones, and I was a mishmash. Like, I forgot about Civil War. I, uh, I forgot about, I could have put Dark World higher, and I could have easily put Thor lower. So, like, 
I could have easily raised this one up, but I completely, I, uh, this was another one that I sort of forgot about. I knew it was there, but I didn't know where to put it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier, 19th on the list. Then, moving on to number 18, Spider-Man Homecoming! No, it's not because there's uh, Iron Man in it. Um, I just honestly think, thought this was a really well done film. Like, for Marvel to, and Sony to finally uh, settle their dispute and uh, release uh, a Spider-Man in the MCU was, uh, and this was the first one, it really... Uh, um, hit all the right marks for me. It was such a good film. I would, I can easily go back and watch this one any time I want. And I just, I love it. It's an amazing film. I would have easily raised it up. I did forget about it. But next time, as I said, when I do it after Phase 4, all this stuff, this one's probably going to be raised up. So, yeah. And then, next, at number 17, Sandman and the Wasp. Um, yeah, um, this one I just had to put somewhere. <laughs> I love, I really like the Ant-Man films, they're so funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just had to put this somewhere, I put it here, and yeah. So, I can't wait to see what the next Ant-Man and the Wasp will be like. Um, like, I, I love these films so much. Uh, so, I just had to put it at 17. Just had to. It's here. And, uh, yeah. Then, at 16, is Captain Marvel. Uh, this one I could have raised a little bit higher. But I decided not to. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. Captain Marvel, I originally had at 17, and I had uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp here. But I moved this one up one, and I could have easily moved it up more. I loved that they um, uh, set this one back in time. Like, I found that so cool. Um, like, that was so well done, in my view. And, uh, yeah, so, at number 16, Captain Marvel, then, at number 15, Doctor Strange. Now I will say I could have easily put this one higher. <laughs> I love this film. <laughs> like, it was so well done. Like, at this point, it's the ones that I could raise higher, but I decided not to because I liked like 14 others more. Uh, this one I really liked that I could have easily raised it up more. I decided against it. Uh, it's at 15th, and yeah. I know a friend of mine that l really likes Doctor Strange. I have a feeling she's going to be annoyed that this is at 15th. <laughs> at 14th, I have Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, yet yeah, all three Captain America films didn't make the top ten. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. Um, yeah. So, Captain America, the first Avenger, at 14. Um, this one could have been lowered. Honestly, I could have lowered it. I just... I felt for my first ever Marvel ranking, I should put this one slightly high, just to make sure I don't cause any riots. So, at 14, if Captain America, the first Avenger, I've probably already caused uh, some riots, because this is so low. So, um, yeah. Um, at number 13, now, it's Iron Man 2. Now, I love Iron Man, as I've said. Um, I put this here, because, well, I had like 12 more, 12 others more, yeah, easy, 
Uh, that was really easy to say. Uh, next, number 12, is Thor Ragnarok. This one could have easily made the top 10. Easily. Easily could have made the, made the top 10. I love this film. It was such a good film uh, compared to uh, The Dark World. And uh, Taika, White, uh, Taika Waititi, the, well, the director of this film. I don't know how to say his name. He did such a good job with this film and he's directing the next one. Uh, so, yeah, I thought this was so well done, and I can't wait to see the next one, Thor Love and Thunder, I can't wait to see that one, um, but yeah, moving on, number 11, I have Loki, this one's in the middle of the series, which, uh, by process of elimination, my top of the series is uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. But you will have to see where in my ranking that lands. So, Loki at 11. Very well done. I will say that. Uh, very well done. Um, I love that this one is getting a second season. Like, I, I honestly didn't see them like, with Falcon and Winter Soldier there's a movie coming. With this one, not like they could do a movie. <laughs> um, I well, I don't think they would have, anyways. If it ended, if if it ended like properly and there wasn't like a confirmed season two, then I wouldn't think there'd be anything after it. But now season two is coming. Um, I'm really happy about that i really really liked the show it was such a good show and um yeah moving on top 10 uh, you you leave your predictions in the comment section below as to what my top 10 might be but uh number 10 marvel the avengers age of ultron i put this at 10 um, now, the main reason why I put this at 10 is it pretty much kicked off everything, uh, as to what it is, what, uh, ended in Endgame. This one started it. So, um, yeah, like, the Infinity Stones, uh, were pretty much seen in this one, uh, for the first time when Thor had the visions. So, um, yeah, I did really like this one. Um, like, it was a good film, uh, I would have easily put this higher, honestly, but uh, there are nine others that I like. And if you could tell, oh, all the Avengers are in the, in the top ten. So, um, yeah, this one's at ten, but all the, all of them are in the top ten. But, in single digit numbers now, number nine is Ant-Man. Now, I said Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, when I was talking about that one, that I, like, love these films. The humor in them is off the charts. This one knocked it out of the water. Like, the humor was good in Guardians of the Galaxy. One and two. At number, and for this one, it was even, it was pretty good also. So, like, I, I, I love this film, and this could easily have been a number one for me, but it's a number nine, and, uh, yeah, so, moving on, number eight is Black Panther. Now, this is probably a little bit controversial, I could have easily raised this up higher, but I like seven others more, so, um, yeah. Um, Black Panther, I really liked, um, and, uh, it was a really well done film, uh, I don't know how they're gonna do the next one, honestly, I, I don't know, um, and, uh, yeah, moving on, number seven, <laughs> Iron Man, <laughs> 
the film that started it. Uh, yeah. I had to put this high. A, he's my favorite hero of all time. B, it's the film that started the MCU. Which is amazing. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Like, I love this film. I co I've watched it I don't even know how many times. So, like, it's such a good film. So well done. Uh, yeah, so moving on from number seven to number six. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, yeah, uh, they did super well on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I'm gonna call it Volume 1 because it's Volume 2, and soon to be there will be a soon there will be a Volume 3. Anyway, and a Christmas edition. <laughs> anyway, uh, Volume 2, I really like it. Was such a good film. It was so well done. Um, like, I loved it. I find that these, like, I said that, um, the first Guardians was funny, and then Ant Man made it, it was even, like, pretty, somewhat funnier than that one. This one was definitely, had its moments also, um, now, the funniest part was, um, the, but, well, not funny, but sort of, kind of annoying, the amount of post credit scenes in this film, I know Marvel likes the post credit scenes, but this one had too many, I can't even remember how many were in this one, like, there was a lot, <laughs> anyway, uh, Let's move on from number 6 to number 5. This one's brother, Guardians of the Galaxy, the volume 1. Um, so, yeah. Um, this one was really well done. Uh, def definitely showed that they didn't really get along together in this one. They, they still kind of don't, but, um... Yeah, it was a really well done film. I I really liked it, and it did introduce us to Thanos, right? Yes, it sort of did. Anyway, uh, it showed us another Infinity Stone, which I think was the best part of it. So um, yeah, moving on from number five to number four, the Avengers. Which, yes, that means two Avengers plus a show are in the top three. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, Marvel's Avengers, the first Avengers, is at fourth. Which I did find kind of funny, because after looking at the poster that I grabbed, it was released on May 4th. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers was released on May 4th, and it's 4th on my list. So, um, yeah. 4th on the list, uh, Avengers. And, um, I just, I really liked this film. It was so well done, and, uh, it really kicked everything off. It was the end of Phase 1, and, like, yeah. It was so well done. Had to put this high. And, uh, so, yeah. Uh, number three, top three. Avengers Endgame. Is number three. I could have easily put this number one. <laughs> easily. Um, so, this one's number three. Technically, number two. Because, um, obviously... There's a show in the top three, and in uh, the Star Wars one, I had Star Wars Web Rebels as number one, but technically that was just number one of the shows. Like, it, this is number two of the films, and then the next film would be number one of the films. But, let's move on. Number two is the Falcon and Winter Soldier. The top show on my list makes it to number two on my list and um 
it was a very well done show. It really um, did it well. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see the uh, new Cap film, which is confirmed to have... Uh, uh, this, the guy on the poster uh, voice uh, doing it. Um, so I think that's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. And then, uh, my process of elimination. Number one on my list is Avengers Infinity War. Um, I love this film. <laughs> Honestly, I love this film. It was so well done. It still had the tensions high between some of them, uh, mostly just Tony, um, and then, ten and, like, it was so well done. I really liked it, um, like, I, I n can't wait to see what they do with, uh, the next Avengers. We know there's another one that'll come eventually, but, um, yeah. Do you agree with me? I'm guessing a lot of you probably won't. Uh, like usual, I usually get these very wrong to what the majority like. But, um, with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. I hope you all agree with me. If you don't, I understand. Just don't pull up the pitchforks and torches. Anyway, with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm Game Near 5 signing off, and, uh, yeah. Goodbye!